welcome back uh, in this video we're going to to continue uh, in, installing security uh, stuff so just one more uh, we're going to be checking the firewall that is important so first of all we need to use the, the we're going to be using DNF so we for example this is like jump but it's it, it is much better well it has better features so I have just applied DNF install and now we continue with DNF uh, install firewall but as you can see it is already installed out of the box here in Vulture Cento, CentOS 8 for example if we apply firewall cmd dash dash permanent permanent yeah and list me everything you got here you see that ssh is activated but the the port for the web that is 80 and the port 443 for https they are not allowed but uh, we, we will see that docker will be working anyway and also if we want to check see se linux se linux is enabled which is another additional layer of security for your server which is great and we don't have to worry about it now we we're going to install fail to ban because we need to avoid as much as we can uh, brute force it is not found because we need first to to install the repositories of the the all the dependencies so we need to install dnf install apple release and we say yes it is installed and now we try again fail to ban and uh, now it's working and we say yes and we confirm so, uh, configure fail to ban so we're going to fail to ban directory configuration and fail to ban and we list all the files and we're going to make a copy of jail.conf to jail.local and now we're going to edit jail.local and what we're looking for is uh, Control W, we're looking for this line backend sh d under underscore backend and in this line control E to go to the end. We're going to be adding well we're going to confirm that it should be enabled. So we say enabled equals true hit ctrl o to save enter and ctrl x yes it is started to enable it so that's that means that oh, that means that it created a link for the programs that should be started out of the box when the server is started again so one more tip is that if you want to see the release of your server another tip is resolve.conf is your name server 